Prediction Decision Podcast. Hate me and love me. There's no in between. I wore my Venom shirt because there's a lot of Venom going on in the whole tri-state area. Um, as you heard this morning, there was a shooting on the train station in Brooklyn, Sunset Park. Excuse me. Um, it sounds kind of fishy, bro. As we know, with crisis actors in certain situations, God bless whoever was in the situation, but it sounds very fishy. With someone being caught by leaving a credit card at the scene, it sounds like 9-11 all over again. You can't find a passport 10 blocks away after you've seen, so-called seen a video that a plane went into a building and disintegrated. There's no way a passport can survive like a human being can survive. It's impossible. So I'm confused with this whole scenario. He's wearing a gray hoodie, reflective green vest or orange vest. It sounds real suspect. The same thing with this Sacramento shooting that happened, that the two suspects that they caught were black. Now, this suspect is supposed to be black as well, but I'm confused by it. It's crisis actors everywhere. They did it around rush time so they get more cameo. Um, I'm not buying it. They said a credit card that he rented a U-Haul. He rented a U-Haul with a credit card. He left it at the scene. I'm not buying that. People need to wake up, bro. They're trying to take away the guns. If America loses their guns, we are in internment camps. We have no rights. We can't fight back the higher powers. But they're full of shit. California and New York is always the um, experimental states for everything. And I just want everyone to know that and try to realize, don't believe the narrative that they're putting in the news and the fear-mongering. Fear -mongering, this is some bullshit. No one, if they're going to commit a crime, will have identification credit cards on them at all. You will destroy all evidence. That's criminal school one-on-one. But look at the case and all that stuff. I'm going to play the clip in a second. It sounds kind of crazy. But keep your head on a swivel. Be safe in New York. It is what it is. Ten people were injured by gunfire, and an additional 13 were either uh, injured as the, they rushed to get out of the train station or they suffered smoke inhalation. Some good news is that none of the injuries appear to be life-threatening. As detectives processed the crime scene, they recovered a nine millimeter semi-automatic handgun, extended magazines, and a hatchet. Also found is a liquid we believe to be gasoline and a bag containing consumer grade fireworks and a hobby fuse. About an hour ago, detectives located a U-Haul van in Brooklyn that we believe is connected to the suspect. At this time, we still do not know the suspect's motivation. Clearly, this individual boarded the train and was intent on violence. We are conducting a highly coordinated investigation that includes NYPD detectives, the FBI NYPD Joint Terrorism Task Force, and the ATF, who have been instrumental in tracing the firearm and ballistics. The suspect is a dark-skinned male and was wearing a neon orange vest and a gray-colored sweatshirt. We do have a person of interest in this investigation but we need the public's assistance with additional information. We're asking anyone with information to call Crime Stoppers at 800-577-TIPS. We know this incident is of grave concern to New Yorkers. We cannot lose sight of victims in this city. We will use every resource we can to bring those to justice who continue to prey on the citizens of New York. I'll ask Chief James Essex to come in and give details of the investigation. Good evening, everybody. Today at eight. Good evening, everybody. Aboard a Manhattan bound. So good entry, evening hearing about this bullshit. Ten people were shot. Seven males, three females, and they were remo removed to area hospitals. An additional thirteen people suffered injuries related to smoke inhalation, falling down, or a panic attack. The information I'm about to give you is preliminary and it's subject to change right now. As that N train 
was between stations 59th Street and the 36th Street stations. Seated in the second car, in the rear corner, was a this, dark this video. male. Various descriptions. It's crazy the how the guy got off the train and started filming them coming an off. Orange green nylon type construction. Vest. It makes no sense. He also had on a gray. He got off the second so car and watched a car and a that filters with smoke and started filming. As the train approached the 36th Street station. Witnesses stated the male opened up two smoke grenades, tossed them on the subway floor, brandishes. A Glock 9mm handgun. How do you get information for a Glock 9mm handgun? It is impossible to understand the description of a gun if you don't have no one carrying guns that know guns. They gave you a full description of a gun, Glock 9mm. Impossible. Three extended Glock type magazines. Impossible. was still in the weapon. One under a seat and one in a backpack. He said a Glock 9mm. That's impossible. People don't understand the concepts of guns because they cannot carry guns in New York City. So you don't know what gun you're looking at when someone pulls it out. You just know it's a gun. It's impossible to understand the, 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 the what's it called? Um, the ballistics of a gun or the, the, the model of a gun when someone's shooting at you. You just know niggas is shooting at you. I don't know what kind of fucking gun he had. It looked black. It looked silver. I don't fucking know. This is the narrative that they're trying to play on everyone as fucking usual, bro. It makes no fucking sense how this just happens out the blue. And it's just situation with Sacramento. Then Joe, uh, Joe Biden with his bullshit of him trying to say the ghost guns is bad. If you had... Law body citizens that was legally able to carry, they would be able to put the suspect down. That's what you understand. Guns don't kill people. People kill people. And they trying to go after NR. Uh, Joe Biden wants a war with the NRA as well. They're trying to take America's guns. Once America's guns is gone, then you will be an internment camp because you can't protect yourself. And that's what they fucking want. And people not realizing that they just going off this whole bullshit of how things is, oh, this, that, and third. No. Something's real fishy with this bullshit. You're not going to leave your credit card at the fucking scene because you left your credit card at the scene. A credit card, bro? A credit card. Really? Nah. I ain't buying it this time, B. But keep your head on a swivel. It is what it is. Prediction and Ascension Podcast. Hate me or love me. I don't know what to tell y'all. Just stay diligent, man. And try to keep your head up. Because everybody's a casualty. We all expendable to the elites.